What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you a super important brand new feature in Discord. If I pull across Discord, then head into user settings in the bottom left, followed by my account and scrolling down until we see security keys, add an additional layer of protection to your account with a security key and we can register a security key. What are security keys? Well, you may know them as YubiKeys. These are little devices that you plug in and they generate a two-factor code, type it in automatically and handle authentication much more securely and oftentimes faster than using an authenticator app and especially an SMS backup. This is also one of the most secure ones as you hold your private keys instead of another service on the internet such as Google, Apple, etc. But you don't need a YubiKey or any of these physical FIDO slash two-factor devices in order to use this new setting. That's incredibly exciting and incredibly important. If you want to secure your account, you should absolutely already have an authenticator app set up and you should absolutely have SMS authentication disabled. If you have SMS authentication enabled, disable it now. SIM swapping is a very quick way to get access to not only your Discord account, but of course, other accounts as well. Security keys. Well, let's go ahead and click register a security key him and we will be asked for our two-factor code. Simply enter this from your two-factor app of choice, whether it's Google Authenticator or something else. Once you've confirmed, you'll get this pop up. Click Let's Go, and you'll see a pop up on Windows if you're using the desktop at Discord. Otherwise, if you're using Discord in a browser, you'll likely have a different pop up or different options. Now, as you can see, we don't just need a security key like YubiKeys, we can also use an iPhone, iPad, or Android device. If you have a Samsung device, it'll use Knox. If you use an iPad and things like that, it'll use Apple's security in order to create and generate codes for you, confirming your identity. Essentially, two factor is a different factor for logging in. You have your password, which is something that you know, and you now have something that you have, whether it's your phone, a security key, etc. This increases your security infinitely and is absolutely worth having. If you're someone who's going to buy or use a YubiKey or something else as a physical two factor, make sure you get at least two of them as we can add multiple ones here. For if you lose that key, you'll probably lose access to your account at least for a while while you figure it out with Discord support. I have a physical YubiKey, but I'll also show you the Android option in a bit. For now, I'll click security key and click next, or at least do it a bit faster. I think I took a bit too long. Click OK here. It'll ask me to insert and press the button on my YubiKey or security device. So I'll plug it in, enter my code and touch it. After doing it, I've now secured my Discord account with my physical YubiKey. If I click OK, I'll name it such as UB1, finish, and now I know what my device is. Make sure you download backup codes here and save them somewhere on your computer as if you lose your two-factor device, you'll lose access to your account. Closing this, you can now see your backup codes here, which I'll have to obviously blur, and scrolling down security keys. We have my first YubiKey here. Let's register a new security key. Let's go and add my second YubiKey here as a backup. It's incredibly important to do so. With all of my YubiKeys registered being my primary and backups, we'll register a new key and this time use our phone in Instead, if you don't want to buy a third party device, YubiKey, etc. I'll click next here and it'll prompt us that our Bluetooth is off. We can use different devices here, but I'll turn on Bluetooth and shortly after we'll get a prompt that we simply need to scan on our phones using a QR code reader or the Photos app. When we click it, you'll get a prompt from Google or whatever device you're using. Simply hit OK and assuming it's close enough to your PC, it'll connect and shortly after tell us to scan our fingerprint, enter our password, etc. When we do so, we've now successfully added another factor for logging in. I'll call this one phone. If you have an iPad, iPhone, etc., you can add pretty much as many of these as you want. You'll need to have one of them with you in order to log in, whether it's a YubiKey, your phone, etc. And there we have it. Our account is now infinitely more well secured. If you'd like even further security, it's a good idea to disable your authenticator app. So you need one of these devices with you, but that's a choice of whether you want to or not. It's not entirely necessary, but if you want to take the extra step where no one can log into your account without your physical device in their hands, you can disable your default authenticator app as well as SMS verification and you'll need one of these devices in order to log in. Now, does this new option make you hack proof? No. In order to log in using your username and password or email and password, you'll need one of these devices with you. But if you download and run a suspicious app or game that steals credentials saved on your PC, as well as the currently logged in token, such as running sussy software, clicking a weird bookmark that you've been told to drag into your browser, running code in your browser, etc. These can all copy your token and completely bypass any sort of password or two-factor authentication to log into your account. Don't ever do that. And if you think you have been compromised, simply 
simply changing your password will change your token and get you access back to your Discord account, securing it. YubiKeys are a great way of securing your online accounts, and I'm super stoked to see that Discord now has such a feature. It's been long awaited and will hopefully be very well received. Anyways, thank you all for watching. That's about it for this quick video. Hopefully you found this useful. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.